Welcome everyone, Christine here on Serious Gaming with a discussion on raiding difficulty in World of Warcraft Classic and whether or not raids in Burning Crusade will become more difficult than what people have been dealing with in Classic right now. Well, the very short answer to that particular question is both yes and no. Yes, in the sense that even with Classic right now, we are already seeing far fewer guilds being able to clear the content very quickly. With the launch of AQ right now, at this very moment, we have 1,600, just over 1,600 guilds that have been able to clear every boss in AQ. Now, obviously, this number will increase, and there are several factors to take into consideration here. The first one, and I'd say the most important one, it's still summer, it's still August, and every guild does suffer because of summer. People go on vacations, they take time to spend with their friends and their loved ones. Even in the midst of a global pandemic, it's still happening to a very large degree. On top of that, you have the AQ gate event and plenty of servers did struggle to actually get the gates open. So those are the kind of things that should be taken into consideration. But still, compared to the close to 30,000 guilds that had been able to clear Blackwing Lair and about 10,000 or so within the first month or so that were able to clear the entirety of Blackwing Lair, you do get, you do get the idea that Anchorage is taking longer. It's more difficult. A lot of guilds are simply unable to do it. A lot of guilds are unable to get past Scarum, which, to be honest, was expected. Like, AQ is not hard for most part, you do have some annoying trash, a couple of annoying bosses, but really it's just being able to get past Karam, his trash, that's the first roadblock. And after that you can pretty much one-shot every other boss with the exception of Visidus, Twin Amps, Uro, and of course Cthulhu. So you can do a lot of bosses very quickly, you can clear the vast majority of the instance very quickly. Uh, without too much hassle. Even on a server, a private server I played on Light's Hope, we had higher armor values, we didn't have world buffs for quite a long time with AQ, uh, and even then when we first entered it, we struggled a bit on Scarum and not in a mediocre guild you could say at the end of the day, or just a regular guild anyway. Uh, we struggled a bit on Scarum because of the way the fight works, then we one-shot every boss that stood in our way until we got to Oro, Cthulhu, the trash to Cthulhu, and of course Visidus obviously could take a while just because the, the way those fights are. Are things faster and easier in Classic? Sure, you know, world buffs do count for quite a lot, um, and as does the fact that we have lower armor values. And the more important thing actually with Classic is people are min-maxing to a degree in Classic that you would never have seen on a private server outside of like the really good guilds. You have pugs right now in Classic that make it pretty much mandatory for you to show up if you want to raid with full world buffs or if you want to get gear, depends on the pug in question. Something you very rarely would have seen on a private server. And it's of course no because a well-geared, well-dedicated, great team of people that know what they're doing are going to be able to smash through the content with ease. If Burning Crusade comes out and people transfer their characters with full Nax gear, full consumables, with a lot of gold in their bank accounts, all that kind of stuff, they're going to do the content very quickly and very efficiently. But that would apply to any expansion, honestly. It doesn't matter what we're talking about like Wrath, Cataclysm, Warlords, they wouldn't stand up for much longer either. I mean, when you think of, like, say, Cataclysm, let's ignore Wrath, because Wrath raiding is a joke in large parts. That's, you know, a different discussion that can be had on how Wrath the Lich King made a bunch of changes that had a very detrimental impact to the game as a whole, to raiding, all that kind of stuff. But look at Cataclysm. Certainly was a hard expansion and launch. Mists of Pandaria, Warlords of Draenor, all that kind of stuff. And if you took a raid team, a good raid team, with people knowing what they're doing, they'd smash the content to these, right? Especially if they had best in slot gear from the previous expansion going into the new one. They'd be able to do either heroic or mythic raiding very quickly and very efficiently. But you can expect a lot fewer guilds to do the content very quickly in the Burn Crusade or to do it in general. And why is that? Well, with every raid, we've seen it with Classic, with every raid it gets more complex, you have more personal responsibility, the DPS, healing and tanking requirements get higher, and sure, you always have better and better gear, but it only goes to a certain point. 
And I think like vanilla in particular, for all the things that it does so well for how great it is as a game and how enjoyable it is to play, that is ultimately a deeply flawed game. It's not balanced. It's not well designed in many areas. And I think that's become very clear with Classic. It does become better with Burning Crusade, uh, but one of the things to understand real quickly is just the way, just the extremes really, that people have taken things in Classic. Just to give an example, from Warcraft logs, Flame Gore DPS, top DPS in the world, 2.4, 2.2, 2.1. Play with people over 2k DPS or close to 2k DPS on this list, or 1.7, 1.8, all that. Over 1.5k DPS, a lot of people uh, you can find on this particular list. Now, of course, that those are the best DPSers in the world, showing off uh, their skills and their ability to use cooldowns and having a good rate setup in general uh, to get very high DPS for Warcraft logs. But even 1k DPS, which a lot of people are able to achieve in most raids, especially when they're bursting down a boss, they're using their cooldowns, one, even 1k DPS is still pretty high, and it's really because of the world buffs that we do have available in Classic that do give you a significant DPS benefit, uh, and a survivability benefit as well. And one should not discount just how much our survivability does increase with all of the buffs that we do have available that we won't for, for Burning Crusade. They were available early on until the release of Black Temple uh, on retail Burning Crusade, then Blizzard removed them, changed the way consumables work, so you can just stack everything under the sun. I mean, you can still stack plenty of things, but you can't use, like, you know, Elixirs, Anaflask, you have to choose. You can't use every consumable that you want, and, of course, world buffs no longer work in, uh, in a raid instance. So that significantly limited the power uh, that people could gain uh, in a raid, you know, from consumables and for from buffs uh, in general. To the point that even doing 2k DPS, which isn't an extraordinarily high number, like there are people who have done over 3k DPS in Classic, uh, even doing 2k DPS is something that people would only really be able to achieve consistently in the Burning Crusade with, like, Blackwing Lair gear. And even then not on every fight. It's just because of the way things are and just how ridiculously powerful the world buffs are. And you have to consider the fact you have bosses with lower HP than in Burning Crusade and you have a lot more DPSers in a raid because it's a 40-man raid versus a 25-man raid. So that should give people some understanding of what lies in store with the Burning Crusade. But it's not just the damage values, it's not just the HP, the survivability, it's also the mechanics that will make things a bit more challenging. I mean, even from, say, Grohl's Lair, hiking Molgar, if you mess up the pool, you'll wipe pretty quickly. Grohl, someone messes up the shatter, good, they've taken out a third of your entire raid team. People can do that. Or a quarter, let's be more reasonable. Matt Ferdinand, someone screws up on clicking the cube, the raid wipes. People screw up in interrupts, people screw up on CC, the raid wipes. Priests screw up on dispel, uh, dispelling, you wipe on the trash. And on and on it goes, really. It's so very easy for a single mistake to wipe the raid on many boss encounters in the Burning Crusade. And maybe not necessarily in ways that are, you know, obvious to, uh, to people, right? So as we've seen so far with AQ, Fewer and fewer guilds, you know, going from Black Lair to AQ, few, fewer guilds, far fewer guilds being able to clear it quickly. Uh, we're going to see fewer guilds from AQ to next Ramas, especially because of the barrier of entry, you know, it's either a lot of reputation or a lot of gold or combination of reputation and gold to be able to enter an Extramus, and you need pretty good gear. The bosses have are, are more difficult, they do more damage, they have more HP. We're already going to see when Extramus a uh, significant reduction there, and especially with being able to clear the entire instance because, hey, the re tank requirements on four horsemen, as an example, will be an issue that quite a few people will struggle with. And then you go into the into the Burning Crusade and do that, have the mechanics, you do have, you will have people doing less DPS, even with the same gear. Like if you have people with next geared characters going into the Burning Crusade, they'll actually do less DPS because lack of world buffs and 
the overall raid will do less DPS because fewer people, right? Um, but but there's more to it than just that. It's also the requirements to even be able to enter raiding in the Burning Crusade that will take their toll. So to raid in the Burning Crusade, well, for Karazhan, you need to do a bunch of normal dungeons at level 70, do a quest chain, and ultimately do Black Morass normal. Not too difficult, not too time consuming. You can basically get it done in, what, two hours, even less, right? That entire quest chain. But that's just the start. Then you need to summon Nightbane. And that, among other things, requires you to do the first bosses of Shattered Halls and... Um, uh, and Sephic Holes heroic, which means beyond the fact that Shire Holes is one of the most difficult heroic dungeons in the game, which means that in crap gear, you're also going to have to farm a good amount of reputation. You're going to need to get revered lower city. You're going to need to get revered Fralmar to be able to enter those those instances. That's just to summon Nightbane. Uh, then you have this C attunement. Just kill Nightbane and Gruel, right? Hey, you want to do Serpent, right? You have to kill every single person in your raid team. Has to kill Nightbane. Has to kill Gruel. Has to do it with a quest, which requires you to have Scenario and Expedition revered reputation. Or already you have to farm free revered reputations. And keep in mind, you also have to get gear. Yes, next Ramas gear is going to be pretty good, but it's not quite pre-raid best in slot. You will actually want to get some pieces of gear when you're starting the Burning Crusade, but not, not necessarily the most important thing. Then you enter Serpent Shrine Caverns, and you discover that the second boss requires a Warlock with a full fire resistance set. You discover the first boss requires three tanks with resistance gear, one with frost, one with nature, and one with a combination of the two, preferably a prop paladin. Um, and you have to do all of the bosses to get to Lady Vash. What about Tempest Keep? Oh, you have an attunement chain that has a long quest chain in Shadow Moon Valley that then culminates in you doing things like Shadow Labyrinth, Steam Vaults, Architraz, and Shadow Halls Heroic to be able uh, to uh, get the tune to enter Tempest Keep. And then in Tempest Keep, you have a load of trash that can easily wipe you to even get to the first boss. And then you have Alar, you have Solarian, you have Void River, and you have Kael'thas. So the barrier of entry to raiding in the first place in Burning Crusade will be much higher than in Vanilla. And if Blizzard were to follow the retail path, they would release both Tier 4 and Tier 5 at the same time. Which wouldn't make sense, right? Because that's how they did it on retail, even though clear, clearly the raid tiers were unfinished. Anyway, I guess we'll see how it happens, but... That's what I'd personally expect. Some guilds will do it very quickly because they know what they're doing. They have good raiding teams. Uh, they have people that are experienced and know how to min-max, all that kind of stuff. And But plenty of other guilds will struggle. Plenty of guilds will not be able to do it within a reasonable time frame. You can expect weeks, months even, for, uh, for the majority of guilds to do Kael Foss and Lady Vash. Sure, a top-end world guild might clear all of tier 5 within the first month, even less. Uh, certainly seen that happen personally on a certain private server. Uh, even an overtuned one. And honestly, the over, even overtuned private servers had raid bosses falling very quickly. You know, and we had to start from scratch. If you give peop if you put people with full Nax gear, with full consumables and full and all the gold that they can bring from classic to burning crusade yeah the raid bosses are going to fall very quickly for those that are prepared but for regular for the regular uh person for the regular raider in a normal guild it's going to take significantly longer does that make it difficult not necessarily really but i think that it's very difficult to make content that's well over a decade old actually difficult and i think that is just something that classic will have to deal with there's certainly going to be some roadblocks that people are not just going to be able to breeze through very easily and they will come long before sunwell plateau some people are thinking oh, it's only going to be sunwell plateau the game is going to be difficult it's going to come much much earlier than that cuisine here signing out don't forget to subscribe like and enable notifications and stay tuned for more